Lineage OS is one of the most popular custom ROMs and I thought comparing it with the stock ROM through a speed test would be a nice idea. I've done this side by side comparison with the Moto G4 Plus but it would resonate with almost all other devices. I tried to keep the test as fair as possible and for that I kept all of the app version same. The battery life was very similar and the Wi-Fi was also the same. I don't want to waste much of your time so let's get started. I've told you guys before that I don't believe in benchmarks but I took some just for you guys. I took the N22 benchmark, the Quadrant benchmark and the Nina Mark 2. So these were the benchmarks. Now before moving on to the speed test, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you click on the subscribe button and also tap on the notification bell because I keep making videos like this. I might repeat the clips in slow motion if you guys can't see it properly. I chose all the daily apps that we use normally. So first one is the camera application. The starting animation is almost identical in both of the ROMs but in both the cameras it finishes off with a focus animation and that comes faster on the stock Motorola camera. You can see it in slow motion as well. So the next one is Play Store. The starting animation for the Play Store is way faster on Lineage OS and I think there's a definite difference of one second and the app also loads one second later on the stock ROM. It almost feels as if I've clicked on the stock ROM one second later but I can tell you that this is very accurate and at the end of the video I will also tell you how I did all of this setup and to make it as accurate as possible. The next one is Facebook and the starting animation in Facebook also was almost identical but the app opened up a bit faster on the stock ROM. Next up is Instagram. While opening the application, there is only a fraction of a second difference and in real time you can't even make it out. When you watch it in slow motion, you can see that Lineage OS is a bit faster. I also tested with some games, so next one is Subway Surfers. The startup animation was a little bit faster on Lineage OS. I decided to test it with some games so that we can check out the loading times as well. I'll quickly fast forward the loading time but I will show you which one came first. So we can see that the game opened up faster on Lineage OS but stock ROM loaded the whole game faster. The last one on the list is Temple Run. You can see that there is only one small fraction of a difference but again the loading time on the stock ROM is a bit faster and the game loaded up a bit quickly on it. So you saw that it was kind of a mixed bag. In some cases, the startup animation would be faster on Lineage OS and in some cases, the stock ROM would load up the application faster. I decided to do this again, but this time I turned off the animations in the developer settings. And even with the animations turned off, I was quite surprised that the result came out to be quite identical. All of the applications were similar except for Facebook. Facebook loaded up a bit faster on Lineage OS this time. So I've cut them down to the animation parts and I'll quickly show them all to you. So yeah, that was the speed test. Based upon this, you can't make a clear conclusion, but I've been testing all these custom ROMs for the past two or three weeks and I've also made some videos on it. You can check them out in the card section. And I can tell you that Lineage OS gives a consistent stable performance and you can see that in the Google Play Store as well. The stock ROM might be a fraction faster in opening some applications but it can also be very slow in opening some applications. But when it comes to Lineage OS, it provides you a stable experience and the app opening speeds are also very consistent. And I would add some extra information about the test as well. Both of these were fresh installs and to do the test, I connected a mouse using a USB cable to my mobile and then whenever I open an application by clicking on it, there is an audio peak and I synced both of these videos together using that audio peak. It will definitely be more accurate than any two human fingers can ever be. So if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel because I make content like this daily and you can also watch some previous videos on this channel.